Information, images, and facts on the hybrid breed known as the Bully Pit. Knowing something about the parent breeds of this adorable breed is the first thing you need to comprehend while discussing the Bully Pit. The American Bulldog, which most people are likely familiar with and can identify, is one parent. Pitbull is referred to in the name's pit portion. It is a category of dogs, not a breed, that encompasses dogs with comparable body types. There are several other breeds included in that, including the American Staffordshire Terrier, Boxer, and American Pit Bull Terrier. The American Canine Hybrid Club and Designer Dogs Kennel Club are two groups that acknowledge hybrids, DDKC. To be clear, we're talking about a hybrid of the American Bulldog and American Pit Bull Terrier. The United Kennel Club, in addition to the American Kennel Club, AKC, also recognizes the latter. The difference is significant because it creates a foundation for a breed standard that can assist you as a prospective pet owner in having a reasonable expectation about what the dog delivers for you and your family. You'll be aware of any potential problems with the two. Pit bulls are known for getting a terrible rap. The upbringing, not the breed itself, influences a dog's temperament, as the American Veterinary Medical Foundation, AVMF, has acknowledged. Even while some classify the American Bulldog in the same category, its outgoing nature frequently dissuades others from thinking that this dog is anything other than affectionate. Both parent breeds are generally in good health and have few obvious problems. They are amiable, which is also beneficial. Given their intelligence, you must actively participate in giving them enough exercise and entertainment to keep them from picking up negative behaviors. They are suitable for families and quite simple to maintain. Even while the bully pit can easily adapt to city life or apartment living, its size is a drawback. Even merely for their looks, they make good watchdogs. They genuinely care about everyone, even total strangers. Bully pits are simple to maintain. Due to their past as fighters, they have a moderate inclination to be nippy but may also have a stronger predisposition for wanderlust. Three little-known bully pit facts. One, the American Bulldog nearly died out. The American Bulldog was all but extinct by the end of World War II. A returning war veteran named John D. Johnson, Alan Scott, and a number of other breeders took on the challenge of re-establishing the breed. Their efforts produced a number of distinctive lineages, the two most well-known being the Johnson type and the Scott type. The Johnson type was more athletic and had a larger, heavier build. These two founding lines have influenced the majority of contemporary American Bulldogs. 2. The history of the breed's name, American Bulldog, is unfortunate. You would assume that the Bulldog's moniker relates to its large head and sturdy build. The English Bulldog's early history as bait for the animal that bears his name, the Bull, is really referenced in this saying. This regrettable intent is reflected in their breeding. 3. The American Pit Bull's history disproves his true character. The American Pit Bull Terrier is perceived as being violent by many people. But its early history paints a different picture. He was a family dog who guarded them. Are you familiar with P from The Little Rascals? Parents of the Bully Pit Dog breed. Do these dogs make good family pets? House with Garden Bully Pits make good companions for families and are devoted to their tribe. They are kid-friendly, but their size is the main worry because a little child could easily be overwhelmed by them. They are a lot of dogs, after all. Despite the fact that they aren't the finest watchdogs because they adore people so much, including strangers, they do have certain advantages because to their imposing appearance, which is frequently terrifying. Do pets of this breed get along well? Dog face kissing cat face. The Bulla Pit's compatibility with other pets depends on its size as well. They could be unaware of their might and have a tendency to inadvertently harm smaller breeds. Due to their size, even when there is no hostility present, they are more likely to hurt another animal. Compared to American Bulldogs, American Pit Bull Terriers are more tolerant of other canines. However, due to the tremendous prey drive, we would strongly advise you to utilize caution. Other household pets, such as your cat, are subject to the same precaution. 
Whether the animal is a household pet or not, instinct will cause them to chase after any animal that runs away. Knowing the stigma associated with these breeds is important if you plan to own a bully pit. No matter how wrong the description of your pet, many people think of them as vicious and deadly creatures. So, whether you're bringing one into the neighborhood or taking them to the dog park, you must realize that it is a barrier. Food and Dietary Needs Bully pits don't move about a much. To ensure they don't gain too much weight, you must closely monitor their calorie intake. The chance of developing diabetes and other chronic illnesses may rise as a result. The easiest method to handle it is to serve meals on a regular schedule so you can keep an eye on his food intake and adjust it to meet his activity levels. Setting specific meal times rather than placing kibble in the bowl for free feeding makes that task more achievable. He will require less than a smaller dog with a higher metabolism because he is a larger breed. This mix is prone to obesity, so a pet owner should keep an eye on his weight and modify his diet as necessary. Get moving. The bully pit needs to be encouraged to exercise regularly, especially given his propensity to acquire weight. His social skills can be maintained and the additional calories can be burned by taking him on daily walks. He's not a breed that gets along with other dogs, so we'd advise keeping to leash walks only. However, the lively nature of the parent breeds might make it simple. Getting trained. It's crucial to realize that the bully pit contains certain terrier characteristics. It denotes a lively disposition. You need to approach training with a strict but upbeat attitude. Both parent breeds are delicate to severe corrections. You'll discover that rewarding your dog with cookies, for instance, will help you train him to behave better. He occasionally develops a propensity of barking that you'll have to train him out of as a puppy. Your dog's bull terrier side has a higher level of wanderlust and prey drive, which you should also control while he is still a youngster. Getting ready. The good news is that caring for a bully pit is simple and possibly one of the least stressful aspects of ownership. While he will shed, you can reduce the amount of hair you discover in your home by regularly brushing him. Additionally, you should regularly clip your dog's nails, particularly if they aren't very active. They will become somewhat worn out from walking on the sidewalks. It's preferable to introduce him to it while he's a puppy, though. Health and illnesses. The skeletal and respiratory systems of the bully pit are at the center of many of the health issues that are at danger. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals Pre-Health Examinations of the Elbow and Hips are advised. Genetic flaws must be painfully and expensively corrected. We strongly advise purchasing from reputable breeders who do screenings for the most prevalent problems. Men and Women Size is the main distinction between male and female bully pits. There is a substantial disparity between the two, with males occasionally being twice as large. That fact may influence your choice of one. They are equally friendly dogs otherwise. Last words on the bully pit. Owners of the bully pit will discover that he is a loving and sociable dog who will make your family very happy. While grooming is simple, educating him to avoid developing undesirable habits takes more effort. He will grow into a lovely pet and devoted watchdog with early socialization and positive reinforcement. For this outgoing dog, all it takes is a lot of love, patience, and plenty of love.